The problem statement in question 12 of this exercise says, find the sum of the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6. So we have to find the sum of the first 40 integers, positive integers divisible by 6. So if we write out the first few such integers, we will see that these integers form an arithmetic progression. So the first positive integer divisible by 6 is 6 itself. Then we have 12, then we have 18, then 24 and so on. So this is clearly an arithmetic progression where the first term is 6 and the common difference is also 6. And we have to find the sum of the first 40 terms of this progression. So we have to find S40 for this arithmetic progression. So we are going to use the formula Sn, the sum of n terms of an AP is equal to n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So this is what we are going to use. So S40 will be equal to 40 by 2 because n is 40 times 2a. So 2 into 6 plus n minus 1. So n is 40. So n minus 1 is 39. So 39 into d. d is 6. So this is the expression that we get for S40. So let's evaluate this. So 40 by 2 is 20 times in the bracket we will get 2 into 6 that's 12 and we will get 39 into 6. So that is equal to 234. So this is what we get. So this is equal to 20 into 12 plus 234. So 234 plus 12 is 246. So 246 into 20 this is equal to 4920. So the sum of the first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 is equal to 4920 and this is the answer of question number 12. By the way another way to calculate this same sum is as follows. So we have this sum 6 plus 12 plus 18 uh, up to 40 terms. This is what we had to calculate. So what we can do is take out this uh, take out a common factor of 6. So if we do that we will get 6 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 and all the way up to 40. So 40 terms inside this bracket. Now we know how to calculate the sum of the first n natural numbers. So the sum of the first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. So this means that this uh, sum inside the bracket will be equal to 40 which is n into 41 n plus 1 by 2. So this is what we get as the sum of the first 40 positive multiples of 6 and you can verify that this will come to the same value 4920. So instead of uh, finding the sum using this uh, this formula, we, we, we could solve the same problem by taking out a common factor of 6 and then using the sum formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.